I'm Amanda Lina Leterio here with the top stories in the BC interior this past week. This week, Dr. Bonnie Henry announced a three-week pause of indoor dining and group fitness classes as COVID-19 numbers in BC are rising and businesses in the interior are feeling the impact. We're totally blindsided um, by the new restrictions, so hopefully that's temporary. And, and so we've temporarily suspended our staff schedule until, um, well, at least for the three weeks. Um, obviously, we're not doing the same amount of volume, so we just don't need the bodies in here. We've already been downgraded from the high impact down to yoga and low impact classes. Now they've taken those away from us. Um, so a lot of people are kind of also misunderstood. We got, we got a lot of phone calls saying, oh, you guys closed, we're still open. Uh, things are, you know, getting busier and busier as people get close to getting their vaccinations. It's, it's hard because we just, you know, we're going into the summer season and we just hired a bunch of people. Uh, we hired seven, eight new people where we've got their shifts uh, all worked out and their calendars worked out. And it's just like, oh, I'm sorry, but you know, we don't have any shifts for you, period, for three to four, maybe five weeks, you know. Police are looking for witnesses after a man was shot outside of Global Fitness in Kelowna on Monday. Kyle Giannis, owner of Iron Athletics in West Kelowna, was wounded in a daytime shooting in the parking lot of the gym. A gray car was seen fleeing the scene and was later found burning in Glenmore. Giannis is expected to survive. His home was raided by the province's police gang unit just under two weeks ago, and he has been dodging assassination attempts for years. Anyone with information is asked to contact the RCMP. The owner of Charlie Victoria's at Big White has lost his business after a video was leaked online of a party happening at the bar, contravening health orders. Interior Health is urging partygoers to monitor for COVID-19 symptoms. Police say a serious and specific threat led to multiple schools going on lockdown in Kamloops on Wednesday. The threat came in around 1.40 p.m., but police have not shared any details. Although students were safe, the investigation is ongoing. The Okanagan and Similkameen Invasive Species Society has put out a public warning that Myrtle Spurge, also known as Donkey Tail, is starting to flower. While its yellow petals look attractive, it contains a milky sap that can cause blisters, skin swelling, and even temporary blindness. That's it for our top stories. For Castanet News, I'm Amanda Lina Leterio.